Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, so today I worked on my Cotton Cuts Puzzle Mystery Quilt uh, month one. So this came in the mail I think at the beginning of February but I just got around to doing it until now. Um, I, I like having a pre-cut block to work on that I don't have to, to do anything with. So I guess I should talk about a little bit what, what this is. So Cotton Cuts does this puzzle mystery quilt and they give you multiple colorways and each colorway has two different sizes so you can choose whether you want to do the smaller one which i'm doing which comes in i think around 45 by 60 something like that and then there's a larger size as well so I went on their website and uh, i looked at all the different colorways and just deliberately picked something that was completely outside of my wheelhouse so what they do is every month they send you a die cut pieces that you put together but it's different from other types like this where they send you a block you don't get a block you get units and you have no idea how those units are going to come together um on their website, I think there were like maybe 10 or more different colorways. And I deliberately cho chose one that was different from the fabric that I have in my stash. I chose one that is not fabric that I would normally naturally choose. So um, I went with the quartz colorway. It's got some Tula pink in there and some solids. So we've got three Tula prints and three solids and that's the one that I chose to work on so the units that I ended up with were uh, this unit here I have two of these units and then I have three of these units it went together super easily it was very beginner friendly all the pieces are large um, of course I did have to tinker with my seam allowance a little bit uh, me and flying geese do not get along um and then of course my half square triangles um were just shy of the final measurement they needed to be so i tinkered with my seam allowance a little bit and for a couple of units i pressed them open so that i wouldn't lose that tiny bit of fabric in the folds in the, in the, in the iron over um so i did that but i liked it. it it was super it was super quick um the instructions were were very thorough they told you what pieces they were sending you, how many pieces they were sending you, and what your sections were going to look like. Well, a black and white rendering of what your sections would look like um, once you were done. So I, I liked it. I, I enjoyed it. I was pretty painstaking. I, I do find that I am more cautious when I am doing some type of block of the month. And I think it's because normally... I can put a quilt together pretty inexpensively. I find my fabric seriously, seriously, seriously on the cheap, okay? I, I am a fan of deals and sales. So when I say cheap, I don't necessarily mean cheap fabric. I mean quilt shop quality fabric, but at bargain basement Walmart prices. That's what I like. And that's what I go for. So, um, you know... You can put a quilt together with a layer cake and a yard for border. And I get a layer cake, I can get a layer cake for, you know, $20, $25 and then $8 for a yard of fabric. So I'm putting a whole quilt together for less than 40 bucks sometimes. So to do something like this, where it's $18.50 a month for 10 months, that's a huge commitment for me. That means my quilt is going to be $185 to make just for the top. So... I was quite painstaking, um, more than I would normally be uh, when I would just be piecing any quilt because I was just very cognizant of these units being $18.50. That being said, I, I am liking it. I am glad that I signed up. Um, this is my very first time doing it. I am tempted to get another colorway, but I'm not because I have a billion projects already in the works, including several blocks of the month. So, um not going to sign up for another colorway but um but I, I i'm liking it so far this one is called sparkle and shine that's that's what it's called so 
the Cotton Cut Sparkle and Shine Puzzle Mystery Quilt. But again, I like it. And it's not too late to sign up. So if you're out there and it sounds interesting to you, or if you just want to look at the colorways, I'm going to put the link to the Cotton Cuts website down in the description. And you can you can check that out um, and see if it's something that you're interested in. Um, but there's no shipping because it's just, a, you know, a small envelope that has all your pieces in there. So it's just $18.50. And that includes, that's everything. So um, that's what it was to me shipped. That's what I was billed. That's all I had to pay. Um, there was no tax in there. I don't know if it's just because the state I live in or if it's because of the state that, that it's shipped from. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it was eighteen fifty flat. And that's definitely something that I can budget around. So, um, again, yeah, um, Cotton Cuts, Puzzle, Sparkle and Shine Puzzle Mystery Quilt. Month one, I'm liking it so far. I am curious to see how this is going to come together. I've only done one other mystery quilt, and I didn't finish it. I did uh, Bonnie Hunter, the one that she started in 2019 called Frolic. I did that one and I did not finish it. I did, I did not. I did not. If you've ever done one of her quilts, it's so many pieces. It's such a big commitment. Um, and I just was not able to complete it. Um, I do still have everything. I've got probably a third of my blocks made. Um, and one day I do want to finish that quilt because I do think it's going to be really, really nice. Um, but just not, not, not today and probably not in 2021 to be perfectly honest. Um, but this, huge, huge pieces. So I don't, I can't, of course, because it's a mystery, I can't say that all of the months will be this way. But um, but month one was, you know, definitely something you could sit down at the sewing machine and, and knock out relatively quickly. Um, so that's uh, my impression of the Cotton Cuts mystery quilt month one. And uh, check it out if it sounds interesting. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.